It's me, Mario and the gang You probably know my name And so we start the game Jumping high, ducking low From the sky to the ocean How What's up, bro, sons? It's me, Iron Dick of Homes And we're gonna be reacting to The new Talking to Strangers By the one The one ones out You know He makes good animation videos About some different kinds of life topics So, you know This one is about, like, Strangers Which, guys I, all right, guys, you don't talk to strangers unless, like, you're lost and you do not know where you're at. Then, you know, then talk to strangers. Unless, you, like, your phone's dead and stuff. So, there's only, like, certain times where you have to. Because, like, 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 say for a your phone's dead and stuff. And you, and you have to go home and you know how to go home. So, yeah. So anyway, guys, don't forget to hit that like, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and the notification button. I always get enough for play a new video. Comment what you want me to react to next, and I'll, I'll see if I can do it. Uh, so guys, don't worry. Um, I'm I'm gonna make your intros next. Just don't worry. I, he just made this, so I wanted to react to this. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, let's get to the video. In three, two, one, we are back, Roni and Cheese. Let's, let's pretend, pretend you get on the bus, bus and it's super crowded. crowded. The only Always spot crowded. That's open is between two strangers. Yeah. So you sit down between two people you never met, and everyone is fine. Everyone's keeping to themselves. No one's making eye contact. I just be on my phone. Sure, your shoulders are touching, but that's just what happens. That's part of the bus going experience, you poor person. I mean, that is. And at the very next stop, aisle seat guy gets off. So now you and window seat guy are sitting right next to each other. But since you're in the middle, you have to be the one to decide. Do you, do you move or not? not? I honestly don't know what the right thing to do in that situation is. I'm conflicted. I mean, you should, you should, I'll just stay in my seat. Person, hey, you're disgusting. I can't stand having her shoulders touch any longer, and I'm glad to finally get away from you. Ugh. But on the other what? hand, if I was the window seat guy, I would want the middle seat guy to become the new aisle seat guy. I wouldn't see moving as rude. I would just want his gross, disgusting body as far away from me as possible. Only some people's bodies are disgusting. But on the other, other hand, maybe I'm overthinking everything, and most people don't even mind being this close to another human, and they aren't struggling socially. I don't know. Now imagine that that's, that's me. Usually, I, I really don't care. But with urinals, too. If you're in the middle urinal, do you move halfway through to the other urinal? Because I would. No, I I need to see that. You're sitting two inches away from them. I always felt like I should say something. Like, hey, did you see the game last night? I don't know. I was too busy drawing cartoons. But I realized that this is a two-way street. I'm worried Wait, why are you going to talk to strangers? But they're not talking to me either. We both agreed that there's this unwritten contract between us that we're not even going to no look at each other. It got me thinking about strangers. To if there's a hot girl in the bus, of course I'm going to love. And how I can make money off of them. Hello. I'm just kidding. Hello. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. For most, For most of my life, I would go out of my way to avoid talking to people. I would stay in my lane, mind my own business, no eye contact. If everyone's using it, I'm a hot girl. Or it's a person I know. Only. But now that YouTube's the thing, I'm interacting with strangers more often than I've had to in my entire life. Ah, so I've been thinking a lot about strangers. And first of all, I think the word stranger is already an insulting label for someone just because you don't know their name. Oh, I don't know. You never know their name. They're a stranger. They're strange. They're so strange. The They're the freaks. They probably, probably murder people with an axe. It's always what? the go-to profession of a stranger, an axe murderer. But the people you see throughout your day are all humans with their own hopes and dreams. Guys, some of them may hope to kill you, but you'll never they know do. because you never take the time to get to know them. So I think that the people you see throughout your daily life aren't strangers. They're, They're potential, potential friends. friends. Yeah. Except, Except for the, the weird, weird ones, ones, obviously. Stay, stay away from them. them. And, and yes, I'm telling, telling you to judge people based on their appearance. appearance. They're the ones Whoa. who just wear anime shirts in public, okay? So back to the bus scenario. I'm sitting right next to this I mean, I probably really wouldn't care, so, so like, yeah. There's not a single reason why I should dislike this person, but I don't know why, if you put him and me on a bus next to each other, I want him as far away from me as possible. Just stop touching my shoulder! So that was the last time I took the bus. Unfortunately, that's not the only place you meet strangers. One time I was at Home Depot. Don't you have to go to, to, go to stores, stores and meet strangers? And don't you have and I don't know You're gonna meet strangers everywhere. Like this, but I will try everything in my power to not talk to a sales associate. I guess it's because I know they get paid minimum wage and their life sucks and I just want to leave them alone and not make their job any harder than it has to be. But asking employees for help isn't even bothering them that much. In fact, I think it's part of their job. Like, what's the worst thing they're gonna say? Ugh. 
you know where one specific item is? Everyone no. else knows. Did you even look? They're in the jumper cable aisle, idiot. No one's gonna think that. So feeling desperate. They're not gonna slap you, because if they do, you could just shoot them. Someone wearing an orange vest and said, uh, excuse me, do you know where the jumper cables are? I don't work here. Oh, you don't work here? And then he walked away. Dude, why you got the shirt on? And he waddled away. Waddle on. Well, the next day, bang, 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 bang. So I think I'm the sorry. logical thing to do in that situation would have been to find someone who does work there. Who does know where everything is at. Store because I didn't want to run into that same guy again. But I also bought a hammer because I didn't want people to think that I stole something. What? So, What's oh, Alright guys, yeah. if you're gonna buy a hammer, hide it, because then people are gonna be thinking, oh, is he gonna break to my house, cars, house, something, I don't know. You'd think I'd learn from my mistakes, but no, I have a bunch more examples. When my book came out, my publisher said that it was going to be carried at Barnes and Noble, and I thought that was super duper cool. I mean, that's a good, that's a, that's, that's a good book selling company, I, I think. So I told my friend Adam from Something Else YT, and we went to the local Barnes and Noble and started our search. We looked in the humor section, didn't find it. Then we checked the new release section, it wasn't there either. Then we looked at the best selling section, then the religious section, but we couldn't find the book anywhere. So either the publisher lied or they had already sold out. But just to be sure, I asked one of the workers, hey, do you guys have a book by the odd ones out? He kind of looks like this. And the worker typed something out on his computer and said, oh yeah, we got those in the back. We just haven't put them out yet. So then he went to the back, brought out a copy and handed it to me saying, here you go, kid. And I thought, well, frick. I can't just hand it back to the guy and say, oh no, that's okay. I didn't want to buy it. I just wanted to have a look at it. Do you know how inconvenient that would be? So oh, so just tell him I made the book. I wanted to make money off it. I want to make merch. I my own book. And you know what? I didn't get a couple cents back from this purchase, so it would have been a total loss. But Adam, being the more sensible one, said, Dude, this is ridiculous. You, you have to complain. So then he went to the worker and said, So he actually uh, wrote this book. He just wanted to get a look at it, like, in the wild. And the worker said, Oh, that's so cool. Do you want to sign our copies? And then I thought, Well, hold on. You're not even going to ask me for my ID? How do you know I actually wrote this book and I'm not some guy trying to face someone else's? Good and point. then the guy gave me a whole stack of my books and I signed them all. Last story before I go. I was in the hallway of a building and me and this potential friend crossed paths. He said, hello. And I was going to respond with, hello. And I said, what's up? But I combined the two and ended up saying, how? And then I jumped out a window and fell to my death. I what? That's that's that that's actually messed Maybe up. Maybe I spend too much time on the computer and I'm not used to looking at real people's faces, but I'm trying to change. Don't get me wrong, going to conventions and meeting fans has helped me a lot with talking to people. Granted, those conversations are usually one-sided and a real stranger won't already know who I am, but they've still helped me. Now, you might be expecting me to give you advice on overcoming social anxiety, but if you watch this video, you know I'm not the most qualified to give that advice, but I'll try my best. I know it's try hard to feel confident, and I'm still, I'm still working on it. But you, you have to understand, guys. If you're, if you're a person who has pimples like me, it's it's all right. It's puberty. Yeah, yeah, I already know. Reality, we're not all watching or caring about every little thing that other people do. We're all too busy worrying about what other people think. So with enough, or what we what we think about, you can show the world your true colors, and I think you'll find that people are a lot nicer than you think. So if you're the middle seat guy on the bus and you have to decide whether or not to move. Do whatever, do whatever you want. No one cares. cares. Just stop touching my shoulders. Usually, if I'm in the middle and I just don't move, I really don't care. Thank you for being patient with this video. May has been a really busy month because some of you might know that May is my birthday month and I don't work on my birthday month. So, if there's a lesson you should take away from this video, is don't worry about being awkward because everyone is weird. And if anyone makes you feel bad, everyone's wearing their own way. Like I'm weird. Not only is that person more weird than you. But, but they're, they're also an a-hole. I have some events coming up very soon. soon. I have VidCon and I, I, guys, I know I can't, I, I can't curse with some of the people that then, you then again, I'm, I'm not like Jaden, I'm not like Ross, Ross, and Domix, and Ego Raptor. Just a name drop. A I'm going people. on so tour. So these events look interesting, you can buy some tickets in the description. Ooh, or we're going to on my website. And if you're yearning for more Odd Ones Out content, I just wanted to remind you all that I have a second channel and either today or tomorrow. The Odd Ones too. He makes gaming videos on his second channel. I'll be that. Friend Pat, please watch it. As always, thanks to everyone who worked on this video, and a big thanks to you, dear viewer.
for wearing your seatbelt. Yeah, guys, go subscribe to Odd Ones. He makes cool um, anime videos. Um, he has been making a lot of anime videos lately, so I'm, I might react to his old ones because he does make um, anime videos about like um, life topics and stuff and like situations and stuff. So that's cool. Anyway, guys, that was the that was the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like, like the, hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and notification when I was getting a follow up on a new video. Comment when you want me to react to next, and I'll see you later. Bye. Peace.